Whenever you buy a project truck or a secondhand engine, the motor's definitely going to have some miles on it. More often than not, the seller is going to claim that it was driven by a little old lady to church on Sunday mornings and it has only 10,000 miles on it. But the real story is probably more like it was driven by a 16-year-old kid and has had the snot beaten out of it. So how do you know what the true story is? Because the health of an engine can definitely affect how much you should pay for it. So today, I'm going to show you a couple of quick tests that you can do to easily give a health report to an older engine. If the engine is still in the vehicle or you can start it up on a stand, the first thing I do is start the engine and run it for a little bit and see what comes out of the tailpipe. Now, hopefully you don't see anything, but if you do see some light bluish smoke, that's a pretty good indication the engine could be burning oil, either through the piston rings or worn valve seals. This one looks pretty clean, but there is a more scientific way to see how your engine is doing. A compression tester is a tool that everybody should have in their arsenal, and it'll tell you a lot about the internal health of your engine. As the crankshaft rotates and the piston moves up and down, it'll trap air from the atmosphere and compress it. Now, in order to compress the air enough to make the engine run properly, you have to have a lot of parts that are working up to par. You have to have a good finish on the cylinder wall, good piston rings, good valve seals, and of course a good head gasket to seal all that pressure inside the engine. Now, depending on what style of engine you have and what modifications you might have done, the reading might vary greatly. But for a stock small block Chevy like ours, we expect a reading somewhere between 140 and 180 PSI if everything is working perfectly. Now, the first step to conducting a compression test is pulling all the spark plugs. To let the engine crank over quickly, each of the spark plugs need to be removed from the head. Next, the power going to the ignition coil needs to be disconnected and the throttle plate needs to be held open for the duration of the test. With the adapter threaded into the head and the gauge connected, all right, hit it. We'll crank over the engine until the reading on the gauge stabilizes. Okay, about 140, and record the value. We'll repeat this process for all eight cylinders. So we measured a range between 140 and 170 PSI on all eight cylinders, with the average being 157. Now that's not great news, but it's also not the end of the world. It just means that 305 is worn out, but at least we know what we're starting with inside that engine. 